Should the evidence that biblical scholars use uh, be limited to that which is universally accessible? That has often been the ideal within biblical criticism, but I don't think it's actually uh, an appropriate ideal. A careful consideration of the epistemological issues involved here ought to lead us to uh, a kind of uh, academic pluralism in which we say that a good scholar ought to utilize all that he or she knows in the course of pursuing their investigations, uh, in the course of hypothesizing and theorizing, regardless of the source of that knowledge and regardless of whether that source is universally accessible, in that um, human beings will have access to knowledge and the resources for gaining knowledge that varies from person to person simply because of different uh, levels of intelligence, uh, different abilities that we have, our minds work in different ways. So, you know, and, and we see this in other disciplines, right? Some people are just more uh, uh, skilled at mathematics because their mind works in this sort of a way. So, for example, when I was a kid, I had a friend who uh, had better than 20-20 vision. And he could see things in stream water that I couldn't see and others couldn't see. Um, things that prior to the invention of a microscope or, or a, a strong magnifying glass, everybody would have looked at uh, if somebody had claimed, hey, there are little things moving around and said, what are you talking about? So he had access to knowledge that others didn't have. Now, say he lived 500 years ago. Would it have been legitimate for him to engage in uh, science using uh, the things that he learned from these observations that were not accessible to others? And it seems to me that the answer is, well, yes. Uh, not only could he do this, but he ought to do this. Um, and that the criterion of universal accessibility uh, really shouldn't apply to something like that. So what I'm advocating for is a kind of principled pluralism. And the worry that I think most people have is that if you allow people to utilize uh, everything that they take themselves to know, regardless of the source, regardless of whether it's universally accessible, that that's going to lead to um, uh, chaos within the discipline. But there's no reason that this can't be done in a uh, methodologically disciplined manner. The uh, atheist should be able to utilize his or her presuppositions, uh, the Christian, the Jew, and everybody else. Because not everything that we take ourselves to believe is knowledge. Uh, we accept some beliefs, we believe some things with varying levels of confidence. Uh, with, uh, we, we recognize that we have differing degrees of justification or warrant for different beliefs. So I'm not saying that we use every belief that we might have or, or uh, uh, think to be true or want to be true, but those that after careful consideration we believe are good candidates for knowledge given our broader epistemological commitments.